Hi guys. All right, so I have been making uh, distributors and paper, paper, mess, mess, mess. So here's a bunch of distributors. Black, white, the gray one is my master. Um, so, and things are going pretty well. And I have also managed to resolve my uh, ceiling issues on the vacuum evacuation chamber. So, uh, those of you who have been paying attention for a long time, you'll probably remember this guy, Industrial Suck. Say hello. All right, and so, um, hang on. All right, so, uh, where is it? Not me. So I'm going to, I'm going to lace, I'm going to lay up a part here and I'm going to stick it in the vacuum eva evacuation chamber and uh, I want to see what happens. And uh, I don't know if the parts will come out any better because actually they've been coming out pretty good even without the vacuum ev evacuation chamber. Um, and, but hey, you know what? I built it for a reason. I might as well freaking use the thing, right? Come here. There. Here we go. Okay. Now, what I've been doing to make the parts turn black is using a bit of this. How much? I stick that in like that. I put it over that and I wipe it off. And that's uh, 1.6 grams of black. <coughs> Which is equal to roughly four and a half percent. Which is a little heavy. I don't care. All right, so now I'm going to do 16 grams of part A. Sixteen point eight grams. And so now I need to get to thirty four basically. Okay. Just like that. Uh stick. Do a little mixing I want to get the black goo off the sides make sure that it's well incorporated what I've been doing is I've been using my little hypodermic needle to pre-inject the resin into all the little silicone screw heads and the and the heat sink fins. Theory is I shouldn't have to do that anymore. So we'll see. I'm going to assume I'm not going to have to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the parts together. Rubber band. Like so. And I'm going to fill it up. Do, do, do. Not quite all the way full. I forgot. I need to make a, one of those little um, uh, phallic symbol parts. No idea what they are on the real on the real thing, but I take a tiny little piece of piano wire. I'm going to stick it down there. There's a hole way down inside this thing. 
just like that. Okay, and hmm, I've been using the hypodermic for this. Let's see how well this goes. This looks like a disaster waiting to happen. Uh, no, hmm, no. Because it's such a small opening here, it almost immediately forms a, a vapor lock, or I don't know what you want to call it. It's not the right term. Okay, just like that. Good, dropping parts everywhere. I can go there. Out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Okay, here we go. Vacuum evacuation chamber. And the piece that fixed it all. Eighth inch foam rubber. Easy squeezy. Okay, so I'm going to put this in there. I'm going to put this in there. <laughs> and <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen. Hopefully it doesn't all explode. Hopefully it doesn't damage my mold. can see okay. Alright, so um, I don't know if that helps. Okay, uh, industrial suck. I came up right here. Let's see what happens. and it's turned off okay so I don't know what to expect my my handle thingy here is the my quick disconnect is a little sketchy I didn't need a way to hold it. Hmm. Up the stop on my uh, pressure setting. Let's see how high we can go. All right, we're back up to 17 and a half, 18. Look, oh, you can see a big bubble coming out. See that? Oh, come on. It's only 20, 20 inches. Let's 
supposed to be a big collapse. Normally. All the little air bubbles are being forced out. We're at 24 inches. Quits right there, and I'm gonna pull. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> the big collapse. All right. So the reason we want it to collapse sooner rather than later, so I can make sure that it's all full. Just need a drop. There we go. Just a drop, that's all it takes. Okay, just like that. Okay. seal now. set to 20 inches can you see that it looks like it's out gassing Great big chocolatey mess. Okay. I should be able to the pressure there we've had two pressure cycles on it and just to make sure we don't end up not full enough which would be bad I'm just going to top it off the last little bit here Well, that is certainly the messiest way of doing this. <laughs> so it'll be a couple hours before I decide to pull that out. And if it doesn't come out of there looking a hell of a lot better than my other parts, which look really good, uh, I'm going to have to agree with Bob. And uh, probably not be doing it this way.
All right, later. Okay, so I let it, left it alone to cure overnight. It doesn't have to cure overnight. I was just, uh, I was done working on it yesterday. So I'm gonna try and pop this thing out of here. This is the little mold for the phallic dongle thing that goes on to the distributor. And it's got a little undercut part, so I use uh, tweezers to go down the um, go down the side of the part and just wiggle it a little bit. And it pops right out. You can see it's got the uh, piano wire stiffener inside of it to help keep this thing from. Uh, ever breaking. All right, so this particular process made a much bigger mess of my mold than my standard process. In fact, it glued the uh, it got resin everywhere. So I'm already not liking this particular process. Well, I see, I don't see a single imperfection yet. A little harder to get the second half off because of the, uh, the overflow ports here. There's a thin bit of silicone right here. I like to you know, just kind of gently push it down to release it from the side. I'm always afraid that it'll rip. that sprue out. It's almost out. Okay. Alright. There we go. One more Dalek. Alright, so Yeah, I don't, I mean, this looks perfect. It really does. There's a couple little bubbles in there, but those are bubbles that are actually in the silicone mold itself. The detail on the screw heads is perfect. Well, well I can see the benefit of this particular process, but I'm not sure that it's work worth the additional mess and effort. So, uh, vacuum evacuation process successful. And that's about it. Later.